Hello everybody, my name is Micronix and I am here today bringing you Black Ops 3 beta gameplay off the PS4. So basically, uh, this is recorded off the PS4 with the HDP VR2 Gaming Edition. And yeah, anyway, so I'm Micronix and I felt the need to record this gameplay for you guys to show off the different specialists within the Black Ops 3 game and the beta that, uh, that I have unlocked at least so far. So basically, this is recorded pre-patch, or pre-update, so this is before the update was so that you could go to level 34 instead of level 28. Uh, so basically, I only show off one specialist per gameplay video that I'm going to post from now on, and uh, this gameplay is Ruin. This is the first specialist you can have, or, sorry, not first specialist you can eat. It's one of the first group of specialists you can unlock. And his special abilities, uh, the one I got at least, was Gravity Spikes. And Gravity Spikes is, well, exactly what it seems. It's, you have Gravity Spikes in your hands, and you, you know, you use your special ability, and they, you hit the ground with them, and kaboom. Everybody around you dies when they, and then a good radius of, uh, space around you. It's pretty, pretty OP, actually. If used correctly. But, anyway, so the gun I'm using is the Razorback. I have, I believe... Red dot sight, quick draw grip, and or quick draw, ah, quick draw, and I believe suppressor. So those are the three attachments I have on here. Uh, nothing too special. Uh, my score streaks, I believe, are UAV, Hellstorm, and Raps, or R A P S. They're like the dogs of this game. They're pretty OP, actually. They're pretty fun though. Scary when they're going after you, but they're pretty cool. Anyway, so, I do get a bit wrecked in the beginning, and I do get wrecked throughout the video, but I do come up with a pretty good score, and I do end up getting my wraps, and my gravity spikes right here, so I'll show you right here. That's what you do, you jump up, and you hit the ground with them, that's that's what happens. Uh, you only get one use out of it, so make sure that when you use it, you don't waste it on the ground like I did, you use it when there's people around you, uh, like I should have done right there. But... Anyways, so what I wanted to talk about is what is coming to the channel in the future and what is going to happen when new games come out. So I have pre-ordered a bunch of games and uh, yeah, so <coughs> excuse me for that. All right. Anyways, so I pre-ordered a bunch of games and uh, I feel that. They're pretty cool games. Uh, I actually have a game coming up soon that's coming out soon, sorry, is Until Dawn. It's also on the PS4, so I'll be recording that in full 1080p glory. Uh, I don't really, okay, on the channel I don't really record games in 1080p unless they're easy to record games. My computer is good, but there's, it's not that good that it's able to record everything in 1080p at 60fps. But, I will be recording everything on a PS4 1080p, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, Until Dawn is basically a Hollywood-type horror game where you have to survive Until Dawn, but you have to make critical choices of which of the characters. I think you have eight characters. You have to make sure you choose who you want to live Until Dawn. The basis of the game is you are a group of friends going up to a cabin up in the woods. Of course, it's a cabin in the woods. And of course, it's up in the mountain, and it's up in the snowy mountains. So you're a group of teenage friends all up in the mountains, and you just... You believe you're alone with all your friends, but realistically, you're not. You're not alone, like every horror movie ever. But this one is voiced by... Oh, here you go. I got a whole bunch of uh, spikes there. Anyways, so, basically, you're not alone, and you have to survive. There's obviously a crazed murderer out there, and you have to survive, but you have to choose who lives. So let's say some of the, and everything you do bases on how, you know, who gets to live to the morning kind of thing. But anyways, so basically, it's voiced by a whole bunch of, I believe there's a whole bunch of popular Hollywood voice actors in the, in the game as well. It's exclusively for PS4, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. Also, I'm not really one for horror games, but it looks pretty cool, and I like its playstyle. I like its the way it plays. I like the way it, uh, you know, moves. You know, it's it's not a first person, run for your life, and then once you run for your life, you're good to go, you're fine, whatever. No, it's more of a, 
you have to choose critical choices and it's a like an like it's like a bird's eye view but it's also third it's third person but it's farther away so you control everything pretty good anyways so that's another game that I'm that's one game I'm pre that I have pre-ordered it's coming out I believe in two days so I'll be recording lots of that and uploading it as soon as possible um what else Oh yeah, Black Ops 3. I have it pre-ordered, that's how I got access to the beta. Uh, and, okay, I just want to give you a little bit of information. I'm not a full-out Call of Duty player when it comes to recording for YouTube. The only reason I'm recording this one is because I feel this game has a bit of potential. It's They work very hard on the, you know, the hotfixes, and obviously this beta came up before any other console at the moment. So, basically, what happened is the first day that I started playing it, we were... Me and my friend David, which wasn't in this gameplay video, but he, me and him play the game, and we got on, and all of a sudden we just could not get into a server with people in it, and we were always having issues trying to get a person, another person in the server, it was just me and David alone in a server, and that was the major issue at the point, and within 20 minutes of that actually happening, I, uh, I went onto Twitter and I was checking their tweets and everything, turns out that they were working on it, and usually when you, you know, I believe the game would end up like all the other Call of Duty games where you would just end up in a situation where, yeah, okay, there's an issue, one day later, they fix it, that kind of thing, because that's usually the way Call of Duty works. No, within 20 minutes of that occurring, it was fixed, and I was able to, me and David were able to join into a game. Uh, and then we joined into a game finally, and then we were having connection issues, and then they tweeted it again, they were having issues, and then they fixed it. Within another 15 minutes, they fixed all the connection issues within the game, and I believe that's why I feel there's so, so much of a potential within this game, is because Treyarch is working so hard on getting getting it to be perfect within this beta that I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe they're trying their hardest trying to get this game to be as best as they can make it. Because, okay, I was a big fan of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 for the zombies. I wasn't really there for the multiplayer, I was always there for the zombies. I mean, I clocked more hours than zombies in those two games combined than in my entire gaming history. I also got my two stepsisters addicted to playing zombies, so that's kind of my thing for zombies. I, I love zombies. I love the way the Call of Duty games work out with the zombies, so that's kind of why I pre-ordered this game. And I got the digital deluxe edition, so I got, you know, blah blah blah, I got all the, the new map or the reversioned map of Duriez from World at War that got brought into World uh, Black Ops 1 and yada yada yada. I pre-ordered so I got that, that's pretty cool. I'm interested to see how that plays out and I'm interested to see how the zombies run too because in the previous consoles obviously PC had more zombies and obviously PC in this generation will have more zombies in it too but I believe that if the PS4, you know, the PS4 is pretty strong, it's obviously not as strong as a full gaming computer, but it does have its capabilities, and it's, it should be able to run a lot better when it comes to zombies, and here you see I couldn't get past this chick, and we both died. Anyway, so I believe that I'm interested to see how many zombies are there per wave in the zombies, and how it plays out, because it they really brought a new aspect to it, they brought in different creatures, but uh, anyways... I really hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, the story was a bit short, the gameplay ended pretty quickly actually, I'm not used to doing commentaries, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and hopefully you guys enjoy the series that's coming up soon, uh, Until Dawn and all the specialists from Black Ops 3 Beta, but anyways, hopefully you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another video, bye guys.